Do you have an audio file or a podcast that you want to turn into a video so that you can post it to YouTube or TikTok? In today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy and fast way to do that. First thing we need to do is come to new project in the top right. We're gonna choose a video project because we're making a video. Click on that. And go ahead and drag in the audio file that you wanna make a video out of, drop it in. And I'm going to just go ahead and transcribe it. I'll hit done with that pop up that comes up. Okay, and it's done transcribing. And you can see because this was just an MP3 file, there's nothing. It's just black right here. So it's just a blank video right now. So what I'm going to do is add some stuff to this to make it more interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select some text. Let me just select this first two sentences like that. So I just click on it, highlight it, and select it like it's a Word document. And then what I'm going to do is click on this thing that says Add Layer above it. I'm going to come down to, I could add videos off of my computer if I wanted, if I had something. But I can use Descript's built-in stuff if I scroll down in here and I select Videos, for example. And so I'm talking about reading an essay. So let me just type in essay. Like You could just pull keywords out of what you highlighted. So let me just pick on that one. I just clicked on it and it's going to add it right over those words that I selected. So let's give this a moment to import and I'll show you what that looks like. So there we go. We have our first part of the video created. So now this video is going to overlay over those first two sentences that I selected. And you can see before the part I selected, there's a slash and then after the part I selected, it added a slash, and that's creating a second scene. So the video is our first scene. Here's what it looks like. Let me play this for you. The following is an essay by Kevin Kelly, a futurist and... Okay, so there we go. So now we have that nice visual component along with the audio. And then I could just go through and I could do that to my entire video. So I'm going to highlight the next two sentences add layer and I'm going to switch from video I'm going to go to an image this time so I'll click on image and essay is still typed into that search bar at the top and I could click on this guy and it says importing image and as before it's going to overlay that image just on the words I have selected so there we go and this this image is in vertical mode so what I'm going to do is select it so it has that blue border around it I'm going to hit position, fill canvas, and that's going to make it bigger. But now we have a problem that we can only see his chin. So I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to slide him down like so. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm going to show the book instead. Rather than him, I'm going to show the book. So I just slid down, repositioned him inside of that image. And let's do it one more time. I'm going to just click like this, add layer go back. I can do Giphy GIFs. And let's do this one, this cat typing. And with the GIFs, they only play for like one or two seconds. They're very short. And so what this is going to actually do is loop. So let me play it. So like that, the, the GIF is just going to loop over and over throughout the selected part. And then I could just go through my entire video and do that. And I could select as much as I want. It doesn't have to be two sentences. I could select five minutes worth of content. That's, I guess that's about two minutes right there. But same thing, I hit add layer, and then I can go into any of these image. I'll add an image again. Actually, you know what? I'm talking about fans and customers. So let me try fans. Let's do this, guys. And there we go. That image has now been added um, throughout that longer segment that I selected. And I can make this bigger in addition to the way I previously showed you by grabbing the blue edges and just dragging it to fill out that black space that was on the sides. And now we're, we've already got two minutes of our video made. So the next thing I want to show you is adding captions to this. So now that we have our video, we can go into captions on the right side and at the very top here, once you are in the captions area, 
you can apply these captions to all scenes or just this scene. So just this scene would be just this video of the guy reading, but I'm gonna go ahead and do all scenes and you can hover over these captions and these are what is going to get applied. So these colors, these motions, this is like the classic karaoke look. Um, I like this one a lot, the bold yellow highlight. So if I click on it, it's applying captions and there it is. And now when I play it, So there we go. The captions are moving in time with my voice. And then the final thing I'm gonna show you to spice this all up is over here in Elements. So if you click on Elements and you come down to Waveforms, you can see these different types of waveforms. There's lines, circle, rings, wave. I'm gonna add lines. So if I click on it, it drops it in there. And you can see now, let me make this a little bigger for you. You can see now these, these waves, these sound waves, and I can move it around the screen by clicking on it. It has that blue box around it. And by default, it just looks like this, it's white, but in this menu above it, you can change the color, the width. So let me change that to like 10 pixels, for example. You can change if it's line, circle, ring, or wave, which are the same options you saw right here on the right. But when I play it, here's what it looks like. And let me move it down now that it's below my captions. So it's got that, those jumping sound waves that move with the sound waves from my voice. If I look at my timeline down here, you can see these sound waves that my voice created and that's what it looks like in waveform. And let me just make these a little bit so they're not conflicting so much. I'm just gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna make it wider so it fills the whole space and then I'm gonna make it shorter. And let's see how that looks. So now it's a lot more subtle and it's not interfering with my captions. And then um, just to show you one more thing that you can add, there's this thing, this progress bar. So you can click on bar and it's added this white bar. And what this is gonna do is kind of like a loading bar. So look at if I scrub through, I'm clicking and scrubbing through this first scene. You see how that white bar is moving from left to right and showing the progress of that scene that it's in. Um, so that's one other thing you can add. And if I zoom out, then I can drag this layer so it fills multiple scenes or even drag it to fill my whole video. And then that progress bar is gonna last longer and span across all those scenes like that. And to make it fill the whole video, I can zoom out, like way out, grab the end so that I get that bracket, and then just stretch the layer until the end of my video. And now that progress bar is going to fill the whole video. And most of my video after this image is still completely black. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the method I showed you. I'm gonna highlight paragraph by paragraph and finish making this whole video. I'll see you when I'm done. I'm gonna go back to side by side mode. Okay, and I'm done. I filled out my entire video with video overlays. And you might run into a problem where you see my progress bar is behind the video. So the layer has gotten behind this other layer. So what I can do is click on it, and then this menu pops up over it, hit these three dots, scroll up in here, hit this back arrow. And then these are all of your layers that are inside of this current scene. And so you can see that this portrait, this one called Portrait of a Contemplating Man, is the top layer. So what I need to do is just click it, grab it, and drag it down so it's now behind that progress bar. But it's still in front of my captions, so I need to do that one more time. Click, drag down, and now it's behind my captions. And so anytime that that's happening, you would need to do that. Just change the layer order, and you can get everything straightened out. And the final step, now that you have the basic essence of creating a video out of your audio, is to come to publish. And you can publish this straight to YouTube if you want, or you can go to export, and you could download this as a video file. Descript downloads as MP4 files, so 
that's what this would be. But you can export by just, you can change your resolution if you want from 480p all the way up to 4K. And then once you got all your settings set, you just click export and it's going to process that. People who liked this video, subscribed and then watched this video next.